professional insulation is recommended. That's why we're making this video. <laughs> so, 15 F-150. We got to put this puppy in. This is a RPFK, RPKF, or 421791 That, right there. That's what we're putting in. <laughs> so, let's start disassembling. 7 mil. Under. So I took this guy. Carefully pop this guy upward with the three clips right there. You see those? Not white clips. One, two, three. Off to the side you go. And now we have to unclip this guy. I already did that. Whoop de doo. There's nothing there anyway. These things that look like a pair of more seven mils. So let's get that. Amazing. <laughs> Simply amazing. Radios, which aren't radios anymore, are just clips. So this whole panel is two seven mils, two seven mils, and this pops up. There you have it. Like it, don't. <laughs> Let's just keep going. Let's keep going. So, we're in the vehicle after the video of making this little USB thing right there because it is not factory. The factory one is back over here. That's the factory one. So, bye byes to you. Now, let's plug these guys back in and start working on the radio because that's where we're going to start off with this 2015 F-150 with a pack still torn apart. That video, haha, <laughs> putting this puppy together. Oh, yeah, that was fun. There we go. This is for the lighthearted and the heavy-handed. We're gonna put this guy back and start putting this radio together. All right, so we got USB over here. Let's turn the AC down. And we're gonna put this puppy, which we already took out of the bag. This is a 2660 DMH. That's what we're gonna put in. So, moving forward with the kit, I gotta mount the microphone. Here's my module. I made sure to plug in the AC controls temporarily. This we didn't need. Garbage. Pretty sure that's garbage as well. We don't have the system that they give it to, and we don't have factory camera either, so that's also garbage. We do have an antenna though. We got AM, FM, terrestrial radio, testicle radio. And uh, we're gonna start putting stuff back. So we're gonna put the 10 mils back, put the stuff back in the center, and we'll do that and be right back. All right, so, snake, a doodle. Wire pulling from the dash. We are snaking it. Uh-oh, don't know what that is. All right, now we mount them. Step one. I'm almost positive that that's centered blocking the D. And you would think Ford would leave the D centered so we don't need to see it when we put it in gear. <laughs> That's funny. But it works better there, okay? There is better. Okay, so everything is still out. We got microphone check. Volume control. Let's see, can you get us in the picture? Ooh, we can hear it beeping. Ooh, we're beeping. Oh, we're beeping. So, Mr. Pack RF PQN 4.2 FD22. That is installed with 
a relay that shows you how to get the Pioneer video in motion bypassed versus, all right, let's do this. Let me get this out of my hands. Let's do this. Let me go on the other side because I like the passenger side anyway. I hate the driver's side. All right, so we are in the home stretch with this wonderful dash kit that I put together reverse camera what else I do oh the video and motion bypass which is this guy right here that's somewhere over there and I have microphone plugged in camera plugged in AM FM plugged in wired remote plugged in and here's a little trick most manufacturers, especially with Pioneer, the screws. This is a floating one. I hate this one where the where the where the the kit snaps in front of, and you mount the radio separately. So you mount the radio separately, and then the dash. So to avoid this idea of where do I put the radio, how do I know where it goes, line them up with the three. And push the push it. Let me show you. Let me pull this thing out of my hand. Let me pause this. Put this thing back in my hand, and I will show you. Oh wait, no, I'll do it right now. All right, you see how the furthest ones in the front, the closest ones to the front, that's what you line up, and you push the clip right to them, right to the edge. Most of them, were, most of them are this way. Why they give you the extras? It just in case, in case the radio is too long or too too short or it's a different radio, different brands of radios. They give you those options for the side. So we have volume. Let's see, let's see what we got going on here. We got volume. This wonderful USB that I made over. That's what I did also. This USB right here. That is not factory, my friend. It looks factory, but it is most definitely not. And you will see in that video. So let's hook up my phone. Those are my girls. They're gone now. I'm off to uh oh, wait. What we what we got going on here? Let's see. Is this thing working? Ooh, we got Android Auto. Oh man, oh man, oh man. So now we know that works. Here we go. So we are good to go. I'm gonna go to some music. Played in the background. Um, yeah, I forget why. I hate Android Auto. Uh, check calls. Oh no, I'm not doing that. This is my test phone. So, this, this is my phone. It's not his phone. So, there you have it. We also have reverse. Let me go on the driver's side again and put it in reverse and we will see what's, what's doing. Check your work. All I gotta do is just put the four screws in, but while we do that, I'm gonna show you the reverse camera works. And that puppy is right there again. Wow, we got camera. All right, yeah. And one last for the road. Oh, oh. So I'm just gonna fix the clock, fix the stupid beeping go into settings that you don't need to watch but we're going to snap everything together after the four screws so like it don't like it share don't share subscribe don't subscribe thanks for watching